this video is not necessarily a opponent video, but rather trying to save someone from the evil clutches of feminism. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to Hi guys, um, so I just wanted to talk to you today. I wasn't planning to make a video, but here I am. Okay, so I have an Instagram. I'm an 11-year-old girl. I'm in middle school. It's not that unusual. Whatever. I posted a video of me in this shirt, and I got so much hate. Um, because you're obviously advocating th th these fucking people for milking the living hell out of utter feminists to buy their fucking t-shirts while using little girls in order to promote their ideals. I already made like three videos on fuck hate. A fourth video is going to be coming soon towards fuck hate. And a fifth one if fuck hate makes another fucking video, which I personally feel like I have some sort of obligation to make a video response destroying their fucking logic. Hey, inequality. Women are paid 23% less than men for the exact same fucking work. Of course, the fucking wage gap argument. My favorite argument of all fucking time. Must I repeat myself time and time again until every fucking feminist on this godforsaken planet gets it through their fucking sticks, fucking skulls, that this fucking argument is as strong as a house made out of fucking straw? This argument I have heard time and time again, and it's fucking annoying. I prefer any other argument other than this fucking pathetic argument. Argument. I guess I have to repeat myself again because this is getting stupid. It's getting old and it's getting annoying. <coughs> okay? Listen up carefully, you cackling cunts. You are not being paid less because you have a vagina. You earn less on average because of a few fucking factors. And let me name those factors. Women tend to work less hours, at least by one or two hours. Most women do not work overtime. Men are more likely to negotiate for their fucking pay. Let's see, what else? Hmm. Oh yeah, men are more likely to take more dangerous jobs, which means that women are more likely to take the more safer jobs. And those safer jobs pay a little less than those who require you to put your life in danger, put yourself in danger constantly. I'm not saying that women don't do this, but men are more likely to do it. And it's not sexism, it's just how it is. <sighs> Let's see, what else? Women have more spending power than men. So how is that? So how's that fair? You know, men have to divide the money towards the, towards the kids and his wife. Not to mention that women are more likely to take more days off than a man. More six days, sick days off as a, than a man. And I can go on and on and on on what's wrong with this argument. But I think I'll end it there because... I'm at my limit. My, I'm... Let's just continue, okay? You see that? That was an entire fucking clip of me destroying one of their strongest fucking arguments of their video. And you're supporting it. You haven't bothered to look up any counter evidence on what they say you just follow it like, 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 like sheep. That's it, you know. You'll believe what any feminists say these days. So, you know, yeah, so I got a lot of hate.
and I'm 11, and that kind of bothers me because um, I'm 11, and what I want most in this world is to be accepted. You're 11 years old. At this age, you shouldn't even be making a YouTube account. You should be worrying more about school than trying to express your beliefs. You're being fed lies. And I'm here to help you re know that you're being completely lied to. Listen, okay? If you're being force fed into being a feminist by your parents or any anyone in particular, you need to stand up for them, stand up against them, and tell them to stop force feeding you what they believe in. Do your own research and then decide for yourself on whether or not to call yourself a feminist and if they got a big freaking issue then tell them to meet me on google google hangouts or skype whatever we'll talk and i'll destroy their arguments simple as that and uh though hate bothers me but you know i try not to let it get to me and uh yeah so I really, I want to say that this will be my last video, but it won't. Because I'm a feminist and I need to keep fighting for this cause. Otherwise, if I give up, is that a set of models for other young girls that it's okay to give up on what you believe in? And it's not. Because You're way too young. You're way too young to be advocating for feminism. You, you, you don't even understand what's going on. You haven't watched any anti-feminist videos. Go, go look at The Amazing Atheist or uh, yours truly. Look at my videos on feminism. Okay? Because there's a reason why it's hated. And what you believe in is total fucking bullshit. Okay? The only way that I can say that it's okay to be a feminist if you're like a, if you're like Christina Hoff Summers. And I'm probably sure you do not know who she is. Because she, she's far smarter. She's far more intelligent than any feminist that I have ever come across with. You know, she may be a feminist, but at least she doesn't use the hypocritical, same double standard arguments that I've heard time and time again. I've done this a thousand times. I'm sick and tired of hearing the wage gap argument. Sick of it. Because... Everyone needs to stand up for something, and I'm standing up for women's rights, and I don't care what anyone else says. Um, so I'm just going to film a Q&A uh, with some of my haters, but, you know, they decided not to cooperate and to ask me really uh, weird questions, and so I'm not going to answer them because they're, uh, they have nothing to do with feminism. Uh, okay, most of them at least. I don't... Then I'm making you this offer. Go to Google Hangouts with me. We'll we'll make a meet. We'll schedule a meeting. You and I will talk, and then we'll see who's right. Just not gonna answer them. But um, so some advice on haters. Everyone tells me that I need to just ignore them and not engage with them, and I really I want to do that, but at the same time, it really bothers me. If all these trolls do is just insult you, there's no reason to comment that, comment on them or even acknowledge their existence. The only exception that I, the only trolls that I feed is Nams and, what's his face, Orbital Unit Suit. Because these guys are fucking hilariously dumb. They're pathetic. They created multiple accounts of me just to troll me into submission. I mean, it's it's fucking pathetic that that these guys would perform such pathetic actions. They have no lives. They're basement dwellers. That's all. That's all they are. Basement dwellers. They have no constructive criticism. They have no real arguments. They're just fucking basement dwellers. And I also just want all of you young girls to know that it's okay to stand up for what you believe in. Then stand up against those who are force feeding you. It doesn't matter if it's your friends or your family members. Question their beliefs. Question them. 
because other people are always going to disagree with you and that's kind of just how it goes and to all of you haters out there I just want to tell you that you did a good job you made an 11 year old girl sad hate to break it to you but these people don't care those both those who are sane and rational and the others who are insane and irrational will not care about your feelings because you are in support of an obvious hate group, okay? If you're sad, too bad, okay? I don't feel sorry, okay? If, if this video makes you cry, then it's not my fault, okay? It, it doesn't matter on what reason it is. It could be the fact that I'm making a video response to you. It could be my face, my t-shirt. It could be the fucking painting on the wall. It could be anything that makes you cry or make you sad. It doesn't matter to me. Because at the end of the day, you're still in support of a hate group. I'm what, 15 years younger than you? I don't even know. Um. My sister is only 14 years old and she knows the massive double standards of the feminists. And before you say that I indoctrinated my sister into anti-feminism, let me just say this. I have said nothing, nothing towards her about feminism or atheism. I rarely mention anything towards her that's related towards my videos. When she's a part of my videos, um, she tends to be a bit funny. I, I want her to be not be in my videos at all. But if she has to be in it, then fine. But she has her own opinion. I show her the Ban Bossy video, and she said, in the exact same words that I said it, it is a piece of shit. The same thing with um, these little girls cursing. She knows that it's total, complete bullshit, even though she kind of find it hilarious. I mean... Yeah, I did find it a bit hilarious that little girls are cursing, but still, it doesn't change the fact that adults are milking the living hell out of these children for money. They want your money. They don't give a flying fuck about w w women's rights. They are lying through, through their teeth. So my offer still stands. Meet me in Google Hangouts. We'll talk. And if you have to, you know, bring your parents, bring whoever is in support of feminism, and try your very best to defend feminism. Try. Just try. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.